Hello, my brothers and sisters. I greet you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I just want to greet you today and talk to you about um, um, about just to remind you that Jesus Christ is coming back. And I just want to remind you people to be ready anytime Jesus Christ will come back. As mm, the way I see things happening this in th at this time, it is telling me that the coming of Jesus is 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 very close, and we all need to be prepared for the coming of Christ. And mm, I just remind you people to be ready because the day when it, the time is passing very very fast and another thing is that so many people are dying and if you die that means that your chance to repent is over and your chance to make right with God is over so the time that you have now you have no any guarantee that you are going to have it tomorrow so you must be ready for to for you must be make sure that you are ready anytime when jesus come anytime whatever happens because even the lord say i will come like a thief that means he just it, he, he make himself he used a thief as example because the thieves does not have any appointment when they come they just come they when they come and uh, everybody if you know thieves comes tonight they will be prepared for that maybe they will yeah maybe they will be prepared they will fight they will have they will have the guns ready they will maybe call the security maybe they will do whatever they want so that the thieves cannot come in but jesus is saying that i will come like a thief it is exactly like that. When the thieves come, they just come. And you have to know this. Jesus will come when he comes. But the one thing, sure thing is that he will come. The day when he, it will be like he, the, like the days of Noah. When he, people were drinking. When people were marrying. And people were divorcing. People were having fun. People were doing a lot of this and this. The days of Noah. You remember that those days of Noah, the, the wicked, how the wicked, the, it was the wickedness that forced God to pour the rain on the land. Even if God talked to one person, that was Noah, that you shall prepare a ark so you and your wife and your family will enter into the ark and and he did not give him exactly the date he just said that i'm going to pour the rain and when he, he when noah started to create the ark people were making fun of him were joking at him and he was making was thinking that why this money is crazy is making and noah was telling them that God will pour the rain and destroy everything. And nobody believed that. And Noah told the people to repent, but the people refused to repent. But they were making fun of Noah. And at the end of the day, the rain came and it destroyed the humanity. But Noah and his family and the, all the, and the animals that he took in the ark survived. And the days of Noah, we can say, is like the days these days today, because we are going, we are telling people to repent, we are telling people to make right with God, and the people are making fun of us. Some people are making us like enemies when we are talking about their sins. Some people have even have been if they are so. Even I have heard a man say that. He believes that when he go to hell, he will be able to fight God when he is in hell. He will fight God. And he doesn't say, he say he will fight the evil. He will fight God because this man, he believes that God is evil.
If you're the one who think the you you think the same as this guy, that God is evil. I just want to remind you one thing. It is God who created heaven. It is God who created the earth. The land you are working on, it is was God who created. He created you. He created everything. And you should understand that he has that authority to decide what should be what is right and what is wrong when it comes to the people who are living on his earth if he, as long as he is the creator of heaven and earth he has that authority just like you in your own house home you have the authority in your home to decide what sh- what is allowed and what is not allowed for the people who are living in that even if it is the house the land the people who own the houses like the people who are owning them uh, example you are owning a house and some people are renting the house you give them the rules how they can live inside the house and if they are not you know you are want to understand what i'm talking about here so it is just like god and even if the government has also the rules and the orders that it should be followed i can just give you one example if you break one rule just like example you break the rule of maybe traffic rule that um, you are driving and then uh, don't follow the traffic lights don't follow the traffic signs just drive and you see the consequences of your mistakes you understand will you see what will happen to you there will be two things either you will come to the accident or you will come pr- to the problem with the authority so the god's authority is the highest authority that people should respect and follow and it is our god is a very good god he is a forgiving god he is a god who is a merciful god no matter how long how much you have sinned only few words and if you come to god and say that i truly repent my god you will be rep- you will be saved you will be forgiven and you will god will forget forgive you and you will forget everything and you will be also eligible to go to heaven and this is something good about our god and this is why we say that our god is good he has created the rules he has created the orders that we should follow and all these orders are for our own good because god knows us more than anyone else it is him who created us it is him who knows what is inside our body how he created us and he don't want us to destroy it he don't want to destroy what is that system that he has created so that he, when we cr- we started to make our own system that is in contrary to what he want this is what we uh, that is why we come in problem with him yeah god know that not all are following his rules and he has decided to let us live together here and that's why there is a lot of troubles in the on in the world you will see that uh, that's not so people some people are killing other some people are killing each other some people are corrupt some people some systems are corrupt there are all those things thieves adulterers they destroy other people's marriage they destroy their own they are destroy their own life because all those people will be punished at the end even if you don't see the consequence of what people are doing now but God know the source of the problems in earth and he 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 wanted to stop it from in the beginning and he said don't do this and this and i can tell you one thing the world this world is going to be destroyed and everything that is in god is, is going to create a new world and that will be a new heaven that all those people who has been 
able to show God that they ca- they want to live with him or they want to follow his orders they will all those people who has been living according to his orders will be allowed to live in that place and that place will be for only people that he has chosen and it, all those who are anirishes according in his eyes those people who does not want to obey him will be thrown in the lake of fire and there will be no any other place thinking about when you are in hell you are tormented by fire think about where will you get the power to fight someone like god think about the days there was war in heaven when he, the devil and his and the and his deceived angel when they tried to fight god in heaven they fight the army of god in heaven how they were defeated and they were thrown all out of heaven thinking about that and you think that you a piece of dust a very weak person you think you are able to fight god even if the whole world today they join force all the forces they have even if we don't have the hell fire we can we are not able to fight god so it's better you must make your mind if you are all also thinking about that make your mind again and again and think about it. this is a total deception it is total deception you cannot be able to fight god there and it, just thinking about having war with god is the the stupid thing somebody can think about so think about to make right with god repent all your sins try to live according to the word of god and you will uh, you will be accepted in heaven for free you will be accepted for f- on heaven for free you will not only be living only one day only only one one week it is forever you will be citizen in heaven for forever So think about that and think about that those people who are deceiving you to live in sin now and think about when you go to hell you will be able to fight God you are not even able to fight anybody now you are not even able to fight even the, your government you cannot fight now so why you think you can be able to fight God So think about that and think about how stupid this idea is. Praise the living God. I just want to uh, if you love you you have heard this message and you know that you think that it is helping or it can help someone. You just send it to that someone. If you think that this message is good and I'm asking you to subscribe to this channel because I'm going to post a lot of things here. and um, i'm asking you to subscribe and post this channel send it to the people who need to hear this message because jesus christ is coming and he when he come only one he want all what that will be matter for him is if we accepted him in his heart, our hearts if we lived according to his father's words if we we are born again by water and by holy spirit and we have been made new people and this is all what will matter most and nothing else will matter for him so whatever that is deceiving in your mind and thinking that you will you will be able to accept it to heaven only by fighting god then you must forget about that and there is no any other place for sinners it is only in hell nothing else there is no any other there is no any other place and nobody has been offered any other place there is no any other place the devil cannot offer you any other place because he himself will be the first one to be thrown in the lake of fire when jesus come
and when he will be thrown in the lake of fire and all the people he has deceived will follow after him so you must have to know this you will not be able to fight god you will not be able to be accepted in heaven or you can think you can enter in heaven by force forget about that praise the living god this earth all the earth and everything that is in here is going to be destroyed and nothing else will be remain here amen so you must have to understand that this how serious this is praise the living god amen